Meghan Markle issued a number of thinly veiled threats to the royal family just days before Queen Elizabeth II's passing, royal observers claim. The Duchess of Sussex joined her husband Prince Harry in mourning the death of Her Majesty last year, when it emerged the 96-year-old monarch had passed away on September 8. While Harry will be back in Britain for the anniversary, Meghan will instead remain back in California with their two young children before jetting out to meet the Duke of Sussex in Germany for the Invictus Games. In the months and years leading up to the Queen's death, the Sussexes' relationship with the royal family was said to have sunk to new lows as they struggled with strictures of royal life. Meghan Markle looked flawless in sparkly 750 pounds skirt designed to turn heads and for many royal observers, Meghan's interview with The Cut, published on August 29, was full of thinly veiled threats towards courtiers in Buckingham Palace. In the interview, Meghan said she did not have to sign non-disclosure agreements in order to quit the firm with Harry, as speculation about their speaking out about royal matters increased. Meghan said, It's interesting, I've never had to sign anything that restricts me from talking. I can talk about my whole experience and make a choice not to. The 41-year-old was asked then why she hadn't shared her whole experience so far, she described how she was still healing. Don't miss! Meghan Markle's sweet remark to royal aid during heartbreaking royal reunion, latest, Harry and Meghan start house hunting after pair leave neighbours frustrated, insight, Prince Harry set to land in UK today but won't meet King Charles or William, analysis, the royal added, I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive. But it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. Her comments were analyzed by Sunday Times royal editor Royal Nika, who said on True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat that the thinly veiled threats that came in, the cut. I think, she, probably hopes it does, feel threatening, to the royal family. She continued, but, I think Terry's a lot of eye rolling, going, we're used to this by now. But, that phrase, I have a lot to say until I don't and, I've never signed anything that restricts me from talking. There was a very strong inference there. And, of course, the reminder that she keeps a journal, and, her, revelation that, when we came back to Windsor, to Frogmore Cottage for the Jubilee, I rediscovered my journal that I'd left there, I was astonished to discover that she had left a highly private diary behind in Windsor, rather than taking it back. She's mentioned a couple of times in the last year or two that she kept a journal, and I think there is a very strong inference that Meghan could write her own memoir. Days later, when the couple were back in Britain to attend the Well Child Awards, Her Majesty passed. It sparked an outpouring of emotion among world leaders, the public and politicians alike who all paid their respects to the late Queen. Harry and Meghan cancelled their plans and remained in Britain in order to attend all the ceremonies and her state funeral, 